Hey there, welcome back Armchair Warriors. Tom here with uh, episode 17 of my Japanese campaign in Hearts of Iron 3 using uh, the Black Eyes modification version 1202. Um, so, we're picking up where we left off, which is September 39. Take a quick gander here on what we're doing. Oh yeah, so we weren't able to cut off this cauldron here. We're just kind of pushing them back and letting him run away. We are making moves across this river here all throughout and we're going to just be pushing him back to this river here. That's the idea. I want to get that accomplished before the end of fall here. The um, <sighs> I think we have some units. No, oh, no, we're getting guys. The guys are getting back. Oh, well, they need, <laughs> yeah, they need a lot of help. Oh, we got a freebie unit here, but I think, I don't know if we're going to actually actively use him. Let's just push him up there for right now. Um, everything looks fine looking westward here. Yeah, that all looks good. And the craziness. <laughs> yeah, so the year before, I know I've been recounting this uh, time and time again, but uh, <sighs> Germany, I guess uh, the UK did not let uh, Germany uh, press their claims against Czechoslovakia. So Germany ended up declaring on Czechoslovakia, Romania, and Yugoslavia. Hungary joined the Axis. And as such, Hungary has expanded in size twofold, at least. Uh, they've, they've doubled their size. They've taken quite a bit of Yugoslavia and Romania. Germany took some of Yugoslavia and uh, quite a bit of Romania, including the all-important Plesti oil fields. Italy declared on Albania and uh, came out the worst for wear on that. They only got the port. They didn't get the capital. Germany ended up getting that. So that is amazing there. But the big, the big shock of this all was the fact that Italy, since they joined the Axis as well, and the Western Allies declared on Germany, blah, 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 Italy went and just went, <laughs> took over, basically conquered France by themselves. Germany didn't even help. Uh, in fact, France had had, had crossed the Rhine uh, and and left the Maginot Line up here and and got a few provinces of Germany's, but Germany beat them back. But Germany didn't even step one foot, I believe, in, into uh, into France. Uh, Italy came here in the south, pushed all the way up north, got everything. So thanks to France, or thanks to Italy, France fell. Italy was also quite busy in Africa. They got Tunisia, a little bit of uh, eastern uh, Algeria, and they pushed all the way to the to the canal, uh, Suez Canal in uh, in Egypt. Since then, in the past few months, um, Britain hopped on over the canal and actually has, you know, as you can see, kind of expanded a little bit. They got the uh, El Cajara, but there. This is all surrounded now. It looks like Italy cut through here, and, and we'll we'll see if they they negate this uh, beachhead here. Uh, down south here, um, looks like uh, Britain landed here and took that, but Italy has everything else here. Italy's been a very potent formidable uh, force there in Europe. Um, we are, for ourselves, uh, just kind of, you know, still hanging tough with our uh, Chinese conflict here. And I've been thinking it over. I mean, it, it might be still worthwhile to go into and taking Tibet. But if uh, worse comes to worse, I don't know if I want to say worse per se, but if, if need be, I could see myself surrounding like... Um, Guangzhou here, just surrounding it with uh, my forces and just taking everything else. And um, would that be sufficient just to leave Guangzhou? It's worth two points. Probably. I would probably have to take a couple, a couple more uh, victory point locations. Well, we would definitely take a couple more victory point locations, but see where we are when we take. If I, once I get Changde, if I can get that, that's a two-pointer. 
Uh, Chongqing's also a two-pointer. Chengdu. So these are all two-pointers up here. If I get all of these, I'll have to see would that be sufficient to just surround uh, uh, Guangzhou, or would I also need to surround uh, Changsha as as well? Um, the idea is I'm thinking maybe just keep maintain the war with China over the next two years until we go to war with uh, American American the Western Allies in uh, Pearl Harbor Day. Anyway, let's kick things off a little bit here. Uh, okay, so we won there. Cool, cool. They're attacking me there. We can speed this up a little bit. We can go speed four. There's not terribly a lot going on that will require me to kind of fine tune my attacks or anything. Um, oh yeah, you are you are supporting the attack there. Uh, we are still racing down. The idea is we want to take. The, um, we want to cross the river here and just push westward. Uh, what do we got here? Army unit command and control. So we're, we try, we're trying to get back into the green. I'm going to cancel this out. Uh, it's year old tech that we still need to learn, but the last that I did was put in a whole bunch of 1934 tech that I needed that was important to me. So the next step is once I get back to the green, any 1935 um, tech that I can snag, I will do so. We're going to do that. Uh, you are really quick, so we're just going to run you like so. Artillery. Unit command and control, we'll kill that as well. Subay. Fortunately, I do have a cavalry unit that can jump up there and back. We'll support the attack, won't be needed, but we'll just support the attack anyway. There we go. We are still sinking fleets down there, I think. Yes, I'd move these guys. Let's move one there. And the other one will move over to here. There we go. And the one that's here, we can then move over to like here, for example, once we capture these two provinces. Okay, your damage control. That's 37 tech. We'll let that ride. We need... I need my carrier tech to be as good as possible. We're working with our uh, regular uh, ships at this point here, uh, capital cruiser, destroyer, all that, all those ships. That's where we're getting a lot of our bonus, uh, bonus. Um, let's have you attack the support there. Uh, bonus uh, <laughs> attack from. Wow, Tom, talk. Let's double check, look at these here. Okay, that's not looking so great. I thought with me supporting the attack, it would, it would go better. You know what? Let's just pull back on all these guys here. Sure, major defeat, but yeah, we're losing way too many troops. We can wait till the bulk of my army starts coming down, and then we can support that attack when it comes in. Um, okay, they're attacking me, but we're holding out. It's not a problem. We're attacking them here. That's going well. Um, only my guard unit is attacking there, but I guess the rest are supposed to be attacking fairly soon. Um, yeah, let's not do that. I think you're trying to move upward, up north, and just that wasn't turning out well. Armor unit training. We can kill that as well. Carry medium anti... That's 1940 tech. We can stop that. Okay, so everything that's 1935 tech that we desperately need. It's like it's tech that is so old. Uh, we definitely need to make sure we can pick it up and improve ourselves. That would include even armor techs too. And so far, so good. Um, airplane prototype.
types. Cool. I mean, yes, I know there was a 1935 tech here, but we're not going to, I'm not building uh, heavy bombers as Japan. I, yeah. Too many projects I would love to have completed, but we just don't have the, the resources. Uh, submarine batteries, we'll take those. Torpedo tubes, periscope, all of those as well. 35 tech and escorts, or older, in case there's any, you know, tech that popped up out of nowhere. Uh, carrier tech as well, any 1939 tech, but we're good there. Capital ships, again, 35 tech, nothing there. We could only learn one of these float plane techs, That's, and I'm going for the torpedo bomber at this point. We're not going to go for battle cruiser. I will leave that. I mean, we have battle cruiser or um, pocket battleship. I mean, um, yeah, we don't have pocket battleships. I, I leave that for when I play Germany, just just because it's a cheaper, uh, less expensive, quicker ship to build. Uh, some cruiser tech needed to be picked up there. Um, yeah, I would love to get these others, but uh, thirty-five tech. Oh, we're we're pretty close. I have a couple. That's 37, and there's a few, uh, quite a few 38 techs, but we're not doing too bad there. 35 tech in operations. We're not going to get resistance support. I'm not going to build partisans, so I don't need to worry about that. We're doing okay with our air. Naval, I don't think there's any 35 tech. No, we're good there. Command, no, we're doing good there too, amazingly enough. Okay. So next, once that's done, then I'll, and I go green again, hit 50 or less, then I'm going to look at um, 36 tech. You know what? We're going to maintain this. Um, if I go into the red, then obviously I'll need to do something about that uh, officer ratio because we can't afford that. We can't afford to have our officer ratio in the red. Onward. Uh, let's have them go there. Have all those guys support the attack. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for the bulk of our forces to come down and attack there. Not, I mean, we're getting close to winter time, so I'm not doing a lot of attacks at this point. Uh, 24th Infantry Division activated, and you know what I need to do now? I need to bring up my utility window that's in a totally different monitor. Let's set player to Japan. Do country set, and we'll see what the IC days turns into here. Oh, how are we doing here? Doing reinforcements down about 30 IC. 15 need for upgrades. Uh, no, let's leave it at 30. Let's leave it at 30 there, where it's at. And this, we're just trying to drop down 160 days. We'll drop slowly, drop that down. Uh, supplies, we're trying to build our supplies right back up. We still got like a lot of bills to have to <laughs> have to go through here. Um, so through the end, the rest of the year here, we'll have a coal field and rares getting completed. We will have our first uh, group of dis five destroyers that are strictly re uh, replacements uh, completed. We'll be building more uh, down the down the road. Um, and that's it. Just those two sets of builds. So, yeah, let's go and form the 24th Division. We have.
have some more nice real quick let's take a look make sure we don't have anything nothing red in here um, are we so if hydrophone was selected it's still showing 34 so that's fine cruiser make sure there's nothing here that's saying oh, it would be completed in 1940 for example same with capital making sure I'm not uh, researching anything that's a little bit too far in advance. No, good. Okay. Uh, we're maintaining the um, low yield war bonds. It gives us a little bit of money, a little trickle of money. It gives us a little bit of uh, a bonus into Unity as well. See now, Unity just went green. Something reminds me here. Let me, um, Asia, Republic of China. I do have the war goals. Seize the Chinese coast. Okay. Make sure that's put in place. Again, I'm not um, the Republic of China, uh, Nanjing. I don't want to select just yet uh, because that would convert half over half of what I have and give it over to the to uh, the new the new government, which would kill my IC, ruin my resource. Well. It would, it would lower the amount of resources I'm getting, but because it's killing my IC, that wouldn't really matter. But it would really kill my leadership. It just ruined my leadership, too. So I don't want to do that just yet till we're all done with uh, the conflict here. Then I'll go ahead and I'll say, sure, let's, let's go ahead and uh, do that. And then when I do the conquest, uh, that'll give me all the coastal cities, quite a bit of this territory here. I definitely don't want to do the Annex Manchuko just because, um, as we saw... I can repuppet them, but it'll give me all their arm, their armed forces. And then when I repuppet them, it'll create brand new armed forces for Manchuko. So that kind of feels like a cheat, in a way. That, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm no judgment if, if people wanted, you know, want to go ahead and do that. Be like, oh yeah, I'll go ahead and annex, get a whole bunch of whole bunch of freebie units. And then repuppet them again, so I gain the benefits of the Greater East Asia Co-Prosperity Sphere. But yeah, it's not that's not the route that I want to go. Kind of I kind of role play in my games a little bit, so I, I don't see Japan doing that. Uh, we're attacking there. So now all these guys are pushing down like so. Let's have you guys support that attack. Let's have you guys support the attack there. It only goes up to 30. Wow, what the heck do you even have there? No, it's better than that. Yeah. I see days at 644. We're giving 94 per. So that would be um, seven days a week from now that we would be uh, going back to normal. Money for rare. Which means I'm probably not going to change anything here. I'll just leave everything as is. Um, which actually, yeah, we're, we're in good shape uh, overall. The, uh, we're obviously not dropping any in our consumer or um, our descent, but that's okay. We're fine. Okay, people are attacking appropriately here. Or being attacked there. I don't like to see that. <laughs> uh, the fifth, the guard. Third to the hundred and first. Let's come around here and then go over like so. These guys, um, the eleventh needs to come down to here. Um, let's have you guys peel off the tack and come back. And let's have you guys come back as well. I'm pulling all my uh, all my marines. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, that's all of them. So we finally won at Huangxi. We lost quite a bit of men. Eh, so did they. I would really love to trap that uh, armored unit and kill it, but I, we've we've done enough. I feel. Um, so one of our one of our purchases of chromite has dropped off. So our IC efficiency is going to go down some. Uh, I think that's okay. Seaports cancel that. Ground attack tactics. That's CAG duty. So we're going to let that go. 1939 tech. Uh, postpone our mine expansion pan plans for six months, and we're going to get our next level seaport there. Um, oh, something I wanted to take a look at real quick. 
so yeah our infrastructure throughout is like really really poor especially down south here um what would it take what would it look like if i built a uh, infrastructure on chantel um november december january so it would take just over three, uh, three and a half months let's push that to the forefront Let's bump the infrastructure up uh, to 50%. So building three levels in there, that would be, um, if it's two and a half days, that'd be seven and a half uh, months, rather. That'd be about seven and a half months to get it completed. That's fine. Yeah, it was pointed out to me that... Um, Sorry, I had a cough. Uh, pointed out to me that well, I reached an epiphany about the uh, supply situation. Um, the fact that uh, I didn't have enough supply coming. Well, I didn't have enough ports that were receiving uh, supply convoys. So that's why I had so many people all through here a long time ago running low on support, uh, running low on, uh, on supplies. But also the overall infrastructure um, infrastructure needs to be looked at too. So like coming from here, I probably needed to upgrade that that port, um, the infrastructure, a couple steps, at least one step. You know, Qingdao is a great port because of the level it's at. Same as Shanghai too. And a lot of these, a lot of the places where I was at, it just they were the infrastructure was poor just because of all the the conflict. That went on, tore everything up. Awesome. Refreshing water. Well, Rebels. Now, technically, the weird thing about this particular event is that you can just simply let this event sit uh, for as long as you want, and this doesn't happen. But... I might as well just, you know, might as well kick it off. Okay, so yeah, we we won there. Kind of expensive, but yeah, it was good. It was better to wait for the uh, troops uh, to be pushing southward here. So we're gaining a little bit of money, a little bit of resources. All right, see, so efficiency went down a little bit. That's all right. Um, airport, this is Air Intercept and Runway Cratering Organization penalty. Um, well, let's see. Not sure what the benefit is that I get for that. Um, I mean, it's Germany. Yes, I would want to do it. But I don't know if I need it for the Japanese. Let's cancel it for now. I don't know if I need that, the next level for the Japanese just yet. All right. That's a Ning. Cool. Uh, we, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Some massive uprisings all over here. Fortunately, I have troops uh, nearby to be able to handle it. All right. Um, and we need the next, just go ahead and pop in that next level. So we won there, we're pushing back. Man, we are really hurting as far as our supply goes. These are all the rebels. Airport level three being built. Cool, cool. Alrighty, took care of all that. Uh, new broadcasting plans are up to 4,700, so okay. Um, intelligence network. Um, our existing AC should be increased, so we can gain an espionage bonus of five percent for a huge. 
huge money hit. We'd still be gaining money, maybe like a buck or two, maybe three. Um, yeah, sure. Recon unit probably can cancel that. Yeah, that's 1939 tax, so we'll definitely cancel that for now. Again, the next step is 1936 tech. Uh, we want entertainment show. Okay, uh, just so here we can attack. I guess somebody just stepped in there and said hello. Uh, we'll have you guys also support. Just have a whole bunch of support on here. There we go. Now we are in the green. We're not going to trade tungsten. Nope, nope, nope. Um, I can move out of this province here. We'll go this way. Drop him off. And then we'll go... Oh, those are both hills. Hills, woods, mountains. And then we'll go this way, like so. And then southward, just to be, kind of get our line going there. Hmm. Uh, let's pull this guard unit off and actually. No, yeah, we're, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Really? 41? 42? Interesting. Well, I'll maintain this attack here. Okay, cool. We lost the effects. Uh, no will decline, because as we learned in the previous episode, that'll immediately get us into war with uh, the Western Allies, which I'm in no position to handle at this point in time. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Let's get this consumer goods up a little bit here. We want to yeah, go down 0 0.01 each day. Need to get our supplies up as well. <laughs> So, let's go across like so. Let's push like that. Yeah, we just just attacked them and they ran away. 1940 ticks, that's nice. That's good to see. Um, we're now in the green. So again, 1936 tech. I, um, I kind of would like that. But we would we would blow all of our supplies, and we'd also lose five IC. So I think we'll hold off. We'll probably hold off on that for for several years, because I don't think at this point we need that synthetic industry right now. We're actually doing we're okay with oil and fuel. <sighs> okay, th again, thirty six tech. I'm not going to pick up body armor that slows you down by a hell, half a kilometer. My troops are slow enough as it is. I don't need to make them even slower. Uh, tank destroyer. Are we going to be building a tank destroyer? I don't think so. Hmm. No, we're not. We're going to hold off on that. Uh, armor plate thickness. We need though. That's for light armor. Increased toughness, defensiveness, armor. Slows them down by quite a bit. Almost half a kilometer. Yeah, I'm not going to give my uh, infantry body armor and, and help help protect them, but I will give my armor, my light armor, <laughs> extra armor. Uh, kind of sounds funny. P extra piercing attack for sure. Okay, now Air Force. I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, I think we're uh, good. Not going to do assault gliders. Assault gliders are just not worth it, I feel, in uh, the Pacific Theater, just because... The range in a salt glider is so short. Airfields are few and far between in Southeast Asia, where I would be considering using them. 
and the range on the gliders is, again, so short. It's just not worth it. Europe, sure. We have plenty of uh, airfields. Uh, we don't need to incinerate bomb. I think we're pretty much good through all of our air. Power 2, yeah. Submarine, any 1936 tech. 36 tech. So far looking good. Any 1939 or older tech here? Nope. Good. Capital ships, again, 1936 tech. We need the battlecruiser class because we do we do build battlecruisers. Uh, I got quite a few little projects here. Um, this armament, I'm going to go ahead and shoot up to the top because that'll get finished pretty quick. Oh, that the battle armor thick battleship armor thickness appeared. Um, I'll push that to the top too. That's one of those freebies that we get each quarter or something like that. Um, no, good. Okay. Grand battle plan. Do I have any 36 tech in here? No. Operating. Um, no, we don't have we don't have combined armor, combined arms, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, Direct fire. I will hold off on that too. Air. We're actually good in air. Actually, naval's not as bad as I was, as it was before. Um, and air is actually really, really good. Um, night combat training. We need to be the masters of that. Capital ship raiders, most certainly on that too. Okay. Command. Any 1936 tech here? No. All right, so once I get uh, to the green again, 1937 tech is what we're going to be working on. We're up to 260 IC. I feel that's because we have a bunch of uh, negatives affecting us. Um, this should tell us here. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, we're doing, we got... Um, 15% <coughs> being kicked off for the uh, roads, rail, seaports, and airports, but that goes away after a little bit. I forget when, how long it takes. I think it's like three months, maybe four. It could be as long as six months that it lasts, but I think it's only three or four months, and then those that percentages will go away. So that being the case, um, if that's 15%, that would be going back up about 280 IC. Um, yeah. Alright. So we want it, you do. Cool. You do, you. Uh, we can have the 108th attack here. We can have them support the attack. All these guys need to come in and, th and go like that. Okay. These guys need to go that way. And we'll have them go in there and they can support the attack. Okay. Uh, make sure I don't have any units that are about ready to break. Um, now they're fine. That armor unit is fine. The fifth is looking kind of weak. Jeez, uh, I'll go ahead and pull him off the line there, but I can, I can shift the hundred first in there, and the twelfth can support that attack as well. That'll make it a little bit better. There we go. Gets us into the yellow. Carrier, heavy, anti-air. That's 1942 tech. That's good to see. I'm really happy to see that. If we're at a point where like we're so far ahead on the tech, that's great. So we want it Lilling. Okay. I don't know why that's yellow. But that They're not doing that well. Or my guys are doing great. The enemy Chinese are not doing that well there. 
I will be attacking with my Marines shortly enough here. They need to get some <laughs> some rebuild, some reinforcements. Oh, let me check planes. Um, how far can we go with our light bombers? Out to there. Let's do so. Like so. Do that for the month. Uh, close air support. Have I picked up? Yes, we picked up a, a closer airport. Um, you guys will come back here and rest rest up. Yep, same with you guys. I'll do the same with you. Okay, that's why I have to check them every now and then, is because it's like, well, you know, we could be could be doing poorly. We'll have him provide supply like so. Okay, could be doing poorly and have to pull them out. And uh, and I kind of. <sighs> I mean, I built that airport just so I could at least house um, air units at the very beginning of the war. But I upgraded this airport so that way I could do some repairs here on the front lines. Realistically speaking, though, eh, I feel it's just better to go ahead and pull your air units back to Japan, back to the homeland, and uh, let them repair there rather than try to you know, fit a square peg in a round hole kind of type deal. Okay, I'll put somebody there. We need to bring you down to here because you're not any good where you're at up there. Uh, medium bombers, we'll bring you back to the homelands. Okay, cool. Get some bombings on. Looks like we have some air combat as well. Uh, I can't believe people have said that China has no air power. Yeah, yeah, they do. It's kind of almost on par with uh, what, what um, Japan has. And then Kang, cool. All right. Oh, bunch of stuff. Uh, Secretary of Public Information. That's 1940 text. That's cool. That's um, what is that? Manpower leadership. So that's excellent. Supply transportation, that definitely need that supply transport car, all that stuff we need. So we'll drop that off. And installation security, that's also 1940 tech, we'll drop that off. Sweet. Three projects that I can just drop off. That's up to 74, and I don't know why. It's, it's not that bad, guys. Come on. you support the attack. Uh, you guys are moving straight over like that. And you're moving straight over like that. We'll have him come in like so. Uh, the 109th. Oh, you're, you're out of supply. That's why. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, I really can't make any moves just yet. I need to need to push further west. Again, we want to get to this before winter. That is the goal. Propaganda fails. Well, we lost that effect. Cool. Now we're going up by 0.02. So I mean, if that's the case, that's 80 days now instead of 160. That's nice. Supply organization. We could probably kill that. Yep. Another project. Oh, we did get a little bit more leadership there. What are we up to here? Are there officers? We're up to 45 officers a day. I think it's going to be a long time before I see green again in my officer ratio, but we'll get there. Westward push is working pretty well. That's going up and up, and that's kind of concerning me some. Let's stop the attack there. There we go. This is still going well. 
The Soviet equipment's what's holding us back, but there we go. They collapsed. Uh, we can actually move you in like so, and then over like that. Actually, just move you there for right now. We'll, we'll figure out next steps in a little bit here. I don't see any moves I can make along this. It's weird that the Chinese have so many units built up along this wall here. It's like, it's, I'm, I'm static. I'm not moving at all. It's out here uh, to the Chinese, their eastern line, that, uh, that I'm making all the moves currently. It's nighttime, so hard to tell. Uh, we're going down about 0.5 or so. Okay, uh, let's have you hold off on your attack. Do I have any forces available? I do not. So, <clears throat> no to the German invitation. We will do so at this point. We'll do so much later. Okay. Um, now we still got a little ways to go. Organization's not anywhere near what it needs to be. Tungsten, nah. Again, I don't want to sell the resource, the chromite, tungsten, copper. I don't want to sell those at all. Steel armor casting, we can drop that off. That's good. Ding then. Move in there. I'm not sure where. I kind of want to get, like I said, I want to get to this river. And I think I want to get to like this province here and down southward, like so, and surround uh, Guangzhou. We'll see if we can't accomplish that with our limited resources that we have here. I do need to pull units off the line. Barbed wire. That's for the first level of installation security. After that's like guard towers, I think. Um, let's attack. Let's see what we can't do. Okay. So we'll move the 22nd there. Let's move here like so. Drop that specialized off and then down there like that. Let's have them support this attack. Let's yeah, get it a little bit better. Uh, this is up to 17. Is anybody down here that can support? Uh, yes, we have lots of support available. Actually, we'll just go ahead and move in like so. Drop the 16th off, and then move um, and then move over like that. Actually, now let's do that. Fourth, fifth guard unit. Uh, we'll have you guys come down here. <coughs> uh, infantry might be come down as well too. Um, who else? Twelfth and the hundred ninth. We'll have you guys move down. Okay, you're moving up there like so. We can have you come over like that. Drop the thirty eighth off there. Go there. This might be a bridge too far, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. 
Esprit de Corps for Naval Forces. This is very big in the game when you get to choose your hero unit. Um, what, what, your, what you are going to be represented in this in this world. I chose that my background is as, as a uh, sailor. Um, followed, followed in my father's footsteps, I believe. So in this case here, this is something that just randomly pops up. We just also now gain organization, naval organization, and base efficiency. Very nice, very handy to have. May, yeah, it might be biting off more than I can chew here. Let's pull the 38th off. Can these guys support the attack? Does that look better? Not terribly so, but I don't Oh, there we go. So we want a Shaling. Uh, side elevator. That's a one and done. Um, yeah, that's a one and done. Does it actually provide us anything new here? Uh, side elevator. Yeah, that doesn't provide us anything extra. Okay. Um, well, as in new stuff that we could learn. Obviously, for our CAG, it provides a whole bunch of benefits um, all across the board there and uh, improves the strength of our um, fleet carriers. And um, I think those are escort carriers. Yeah, we might be biting a little bit more off more than we can chew here. But I want to see, I wanted this to wrap up because we're moving down into here and that might help rescue those guys. Uh, Zuzel, okay. Um, do we have anybody? Yes, we do. So let's attack here, like so, in this area for the next month there. Let's do the same here. here. Just do an air superiority. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. I think that is it. We should be winning that soon. This we should be winning fairly soon too. This uh, we'll move him up to help bolster that a little bit. I mean, this militia should be cracking, and this cavalry unit should be as well. Let's move him up there. No, thank you. I don't want to join. I don't want to join the Axis yet. <laughs> Not at this point. Thank you very much. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let's go here and there for the first four. The next four. Let's go here and here. And the next three. Let's go here. And there. Um, still way off the mark where I need to be with my my Marines there. I have six units coming down here. I want to pull another four to six. Um, let's pull you guys like so. Uh, yeah, 
let's get our reinforcements back up a little bit. This is looking great. <clears throat> Down from 50 to 45. Consumer goods, still cranking that out. That's 70 days away. Uh, cool. Do I have any units that I've totally forgotten about? Ah, uh, so this is the new unit that I got, and we can see this is another issue, just like the Marine unit. Uh, so, mental note, the die 24th. Actually, real quick, let me pause back shortly. And back. Just had to write a bug report on this. Now, I think what will happen is, uh, once I save, then reload, uh, or start the game over again, maybe, and then reload, you know, reload off that save, then this unit becomes a named headquarter unit, all that kind of stuff. But we have to still build an a, uh, infantry division off of that there. So let's drop that there. I'm just going to leave, leave it as is here. It's a bit sad because the um, we had to pay the IC debt. Uh, that was seven days worth uh, of IC debt there. Um, which here, this is going to be... Well, far greater, of course, <laughs> to, to rebuild that unit. Um, and then we also had all the resources pull this way, too. So basically, I'm buying this unit twice. Um, yeah, well, that's yeah, it is what it is. Um, actually, let's drop this to the bottom. Let's just go with what we what we're currently currently having to do now. And I'm not going to worry about getting the unit built right away. Hopefully there's some fixes coming for those type of broken units, the the Marines that we saw, the one Marine unit, and now this one infantry unit. Hopefully there's a uh, fix coming. Um, to get the, you know, because you you end up paying more for that unit than, than, there, than it would be to actually build a brand new one. Not a huge deal. But, especially when you're playing Japan, you know, and your IC is as tight as it is, your resources and whatnot, yeah, it kind of, it kind of stings a bit. There we go, got the infantry in there, and now we're doing a lot better. We'll have him also support the attack. There we go, and now we go up in the green. Probably our reinforcements, yeah. All right, so we want it yanks in. As soon as I brought in another unit for uh, for support there, that's when we win. Okay. Um, okay, let's have him then support the attack here. And these two units will also, actually, all those guys will support that. This guy is going to support the attack there, too. There we go. A bunch of supporting going on. We're very supportive here in the Japanese army. Uh, let's see. So I'll bring the 14th down. We'll bring the 21st down. And we'll swing the armored unit this way and like that. So that's about a, I think a dozen units I'm bringing down there. It, it'll be good to pull them out of this area too, because we're just, all of them are soaking resources, uh, supplies left and right. We need to make sure that we're, that we're not killing our, uh, yeah, actually local supplies at 1781. That's interesting. Well, the infrastructure again. It, we're in the red, uh, so getting supplies to the front lines here, very difficult to do. This river area, 50%, that's nice to see. That means once we take those, well, not once, but when we eventually take that area, they'll be better off. All right, let's go ahead and get you guys going. Let's have you... 
invade up there like so. Okay. Let's have you guys. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. We're not doing invasion. Put those guys back on on shore. Pull these passenger liners off for right now. Gonna wait. There we go. So now we'll load up on the auxiliary. I was like wondering, uh, for one, like, you know, why am I seeing such a huge range <laughs> from my invasion ship? Oh, no, not you. <sighs> you. How's it when? Basically, I want to drop off in both these places here to block off retreat from anybody here on the island. Uh, we will drop off there. making our final naval invasion on this uh, island here. Doing so helps out my supply. It's, it's going to be bringing you know, these troops out of this <coughs> uh, out of the situation here. And then with all these other infantry that I've got coming in, so we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> 11, 12. So I got 12 units that are also going to be pulled off of here and landed on the island. <clears throat> That'll be less supply required. You know, that's 22 units, 10, 10 uh, Marines, 12 uh, infantry specialized, etc. that I'm pulling off of here that won't be pulling from supply in this area. And then I can, I can run supply on, on the ports here uh, to keep those guys supplied. So that should help out greatly, I feel. Okay, we're doing attacks all over the place here. We're getting attacked there. Is there anybody not moving? I don't see that. Um, yeah, well, actually, we can go ahead and move these guys in like so, and we can support that attack. No, I don't think we need to support the attack. Yeah, that's going to be a win here very quickly. A defeat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So that was attacking there. That didn't turn out well. Okay. Okay, was not paying attention. So basically, I lost like a whole entire infantry division. Uh, that's effectively what that what that was. Probably need to uh, yep boost up our re, uh, reinforcements a bit here. Just drop that twenty three. There we go. Oh, a whole bunch more of these guys. Might be able to move to where we need need you to go. Uh, let's have you come down to there. Let's have you go like so. We have a militia that we're going to move into here. Okay, and then back, and I'm going to move you down to uh, hangs out. Uh, I 
and just have it move straight down like that. Let's have it move up. Well, if only there was a unit that I could use to attack <laughs> right here. Four hours. Um, let's have you do that and then come around like so. are going okay uh, let's move the ninth back up to there there's a wide swath of area here but I don't have any <laughs> any troops uh, I don't I can't really move anybody off of my lines here I need I need the forces I have Lost the effects of the Chile Gulf because of this province being lost. Um, we're moving you over there and back. November first. Let's uh, let's take a quick. Well, we already we already saved. Um, let's take a quick look in Europe and see what's going on. So nothing has changed all throughout here. Again. Um, Denmark, Norway, I think that's March of uh, 1940, when uh, uh, the German AI, German AI will get uh, an event that allows them some free landings all along uh, southern Norway here, and they'll, they'll also kind of be pushed to attack Denmark, and I think it's May that they'll be pushed to attack the lowlands, so we'll see if that kicks off still. Everything else looks all right, no changes here, of course. And yes, as I thought, the Italians did respond to the uh, British bridgehead here. They took back Al Um I don't, that might be a desert area. That might be like a low infrastructure. I can't, I mean, this isn't going to really tell me. It's because we don't have any real, um, our intelligence is very low in regards to what, what's going on with everybody else. So I don't know if that's being held or not. Uh, down all throughout here. Okay, it looks like the British kind of broke through here and linked up with their bridgehead, their beachhead here. Yeah, that's a lot of units there. That is a lot of units there. Holy cow. But Italy's like pushed down south here for some reason. That's odd. Otherwise, everything there is looking normal, looking good. Um, looking really good. They've expanded out to here. This is Vichy France, right? Well, no, it's just France. Interesting. Um, is Germany at war with anybody else new? UK, Oman, Baton. No, no, same, 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 same. Nothing changed. Yeah, nothing's changed all throughout here. And the funny thing is they're still embargoing uh, North, Central, and South America. So no real changes there. Don't think there's going to be any changes for Italy. Yeah, same, same there. So, yeah, Italy is responding to what's happening in Egypt. Beautiful. Uh, down in South, in uh, Central Africa, Italy's still doing well. That is super interesting as we tear towards the uh, latter days of uh, 1939. Snows are beginning. Yeah, these. And here I was hoping I'd get to the river. Uh, I would get to this river before winter. I'd be set up basically on this winter, on this uh, river. Yeah, that's not going to happen, sadly. Oh, I should have evasions. Yes, I do. 
Uh, we'll wait till we get landings all throughout there. I can actually probably I'll just go ahead and move you into that port right now. Uh, we don't have anybody there. <clears throat> um, we'll move these passenger liners back. Let's see how. Okay, just have a bunch of movement all over the place here. So we can have you. Uh, if we leave him behind and attack with those two guys, I can support there like so, and the 11th will also support. Let's see if we can reduce that at Wuhan. So they've attacked. They've stopped attacking me. Let's have the second attack here and move back real quick. Let's go like so. I mean, we're getting close <laughs> to the river. But yeah, we're we're not doing what I was hoping that we would be able to get, have get done. And that's fine. Uh, there is no great pressure for me to finish up China in a hurry. I mean, it would be awesome if I could uh, <clears throat> get everything else, you know, get China pretty much conquered, except for, say, you know, a couple of victory point locations and to surround those um, and to keep the war going. But that way I could kind of, you know, kick back on uh, my reinforcement needs. That would, uh, that would drop dramatically if I could uh, cease combat operations and wouldn't be attacked all that much. Um, yeah, but that's neither here nor there. We will get there eventually where we need to be. Monsoon is over. So we made the river. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> they are still attacking me here. Now the armored unit is... Well, the armored unit was retreating, I think, but now it's not any further. Let's have the 17th also assist in that. Who do we have attacking there? Those guys. Let's have you also support that attack. Camera focus. Let's see if we can get nationalize. Uh, no. We got the bad nationalize. Industrial zone production. We get an increase in IC and IC efficiency. It's 1939 tech. Let's cancel that out for right now. I mean, it's important, but uh, we'll need to hold off on that. Let's move you here, there, like so. Okay. This is for reinforcements. We can drop that down to 15. That does put us. Our IC level is like not where I want it to be. It's not even close to 300. Um, still at that, yeah, we're still at minus 15% for all that, all the stuff that we just built, the roads, rails, seaports, airports. But geez. Hmm. Um. Okay, well, you guys are going to be moving when you can. This, that's fine. Yeah, you're doing okay. I have faith that we'll win there. So we aren't doing anything, and that's okay. We can, we can sit there. That's fine. Germany, no, not yet. New brigades for garrison duties in China. This is going to hurt us a bit, but uh, as far as our IC days, we'll have some IC debt. But um, this will get us a whole bunch of um, this should get us a whole bunch of extra units. I, I think this is, these are the brigades that I then end up using Actually, I don't know what this is. We'll find out. Um, but yes, we'll go ahead and take it. I know we'll lose some energy. Don't care. Lose metal. Don't care. Rares. Don't really care. And uh, the 12 manpower. That'll kind of hurt. 
We get our Chile Gulf back, our IC efficiency jumped up a point. And what does this give us here? The 11th, okay, so it gives us two mixed, uh, two specialized light infantry, I should say. I'll do that. And, and good timing, quite honestly, because we can utilize them in the uh, coming coming campaign down here. Um, I'll wait till we capture this. There we go. Transport both those guys there. Cool, we went and zoom in. We'll have these guys attack here like so. Yeah, we really took a hurting here. Um, well, we'll go ahead and move these guys up like that. The uh, armor unit, we'll just leave where they're at. That's only 16, but that's okay. We can we can get that better. Uh, let's have him come up like so, and we'll have him come up like. Well, actually, let's have him sit there. That's fine. Yeah. Um, we need to start bringing in troops. There we go. Bring them all here. Just drop them off. Transport them there, and then when the next group here of four arrive. Uh, then I'll transport those over as well. I have everybody attacking here that I can. We should win that quite handily. I need to, what, what's this? Uh, Sonia, I need to create a convoy. Supply convoy from Tokyo should be the last one here. Sonia, cool and perfect. So it's a level three port with four infrastructure. The infrastructure throughout the islands is not the best anyway. But the troops that I have here, it's like, yeah, that's okay. We should we should be fine. So they're attacking me here over and over again. We'll lose 2,000 bucks, but we now have a little bit of a boost there, or we'll be getting a bit of a boost. Uh, we wanted Puki, 50,000 troops. That was a lot of, a lot of troops there. Our IC, I think we're at, let me refresh. Our IC days is at 2492, just under 2500. Um, so that's 27 days, I guess. Uh, let's get our reinforcement up a bit. We'll leave our supplies the way they are, same as our consumer goods. We're dropping that down a bit here. Yep. Tis what it is. Cool. When it's Zijin. Zijin. Attacking me at Dingnan over and over again. So we got some money just in time. Because we just had a huge expense go out. So this entertainment show drops our need for consumer goods by a little bit. That still leaves us only at 0 0.02 per day that we're lowering the uh, descent. Increases our money, though. Holy cow, we're up to 44 bucks a day? Why, why, why? Wow. Okay. Um, I am I'm good with that, quite honestly. I like that. Let me see something here. Can we sell anybody hurting? Glad to see Republic of China is hurting. Deficit of energy, deficit of, of metal. They're producing surplus of crude and uh, rares. Uh, sur 
plus of consumer goods, deficit of fuel, and of course, deficit of money. Ha ha ha. I'm so happy to see that. Uh, Menjiang. There we go. Get 50, 50 cents a day from them. Okay, that's that's it. Um, metals. Is anybody really hurting that I could sell you some? Yemen. Uh, you, you're not making enough money. Siam. You don't want any. At least you don't want mine. Philippines are plus of five bucks, but I can't sell to them. Manchuria. Sure, sell one metal for ten cents. That's fine. Uh, Burma. Odd that I can't trade with Burma. There is no option for that. Uh, intriguing there. Um, Afghanistan, how much money you got? 10 cents. That's not going to be enough, I think. Yeah, it's not enough to buy supplies. All right. So that's 60 cents a, a day extra they'll be getting. That's cool. They're slowly coming over. Same province getting attacked over and over and over again. Battleship armor thickness. Good to see that completing. Uh, that was here, right? Yes, and that was one of the that was one of the ones that it was very close to finishing already. Same place, over and over and over again. Uh, let's take a quick look again from west to east. Looks like I'm seeing like a huge amount of um, travel here. A lot, a lot of units over here as well, too. I don't know why they're coming up here and then heading out west again. Oh, let's get this taken care of. Okay. Um, there isn't going to be anything that I can do here with any of my troops. Yeah, we we don't have sufficient force to push over the river or anything like that. Let's actually have you stay where you're at. I feel that we need to push up into here like so and do the same with you. Actually, let's have you come back. That we can kind of go like so. Let's have to get this coming across there. You're going to go up. We'll keep those guys there. We'll have you support the attack. And we'll have you come in like so. Uh, and you'll need to hold off. We keep getting attacked in this province over and over again so much. It's like, ugh. Let's pull, okay, so the 6th, okay, eighth, 18th, I need to pull you back as well, 39th, let's pull you back, I just kind of need to move these low organization units into different areas, 3rd is coming down, let's just stay here, 101st, stay here as well, 36th, stay there as well. 14th, 21st, you guys are going that way. You guys are staying there. We're still moving into here. What does this attack look like here? Uh, 
There we go. So we're getting to the river a little bit later than I really would like to at this point, but eh, not much I can do. They're almost about ready to make it down here. We're there. We go. Yeah, do that. Um, we'll leave you behind. All you guys come up like so. Ha 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 ha. Landed. Actually, I think I put that I wanted to land at Lazal, but they instead landed me at the port, which that's fine. Uh, that being the case, which one is this? Uh, Bay High. Well, let's create a convoy. Supply. Tokyo to Beihai. Boom. Local supplies over 200. Required is 12 per day, so we're well within supply there. Local supplies 400. Re requiring 80 per day, so we got five days worth of supplies. We are able to ship in 37, and that will actually go up once this gets better. It's at 2.5. It needs to be uh, th 3 is where it needs to be, so it's got a little ways to go. Once it goes up, that'll, uh, if it's 2.5, um, what would that be? It'll probably go up to 47, maybe, 45. So, But we'll also be capturing this port, too. So, yeah, we'll be able to get enough supply up for operations in this area. Um you guys are still taking your time. Jeez. Same place, dinging over and over and over again. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want to. I want kind of want to move along this river line here. Uh, I'm not sure how this southern area is going to be, how I can handle that. Drop reinforcements down a little bit here. We're at 2116 days left. Uh, again, 94 we're spending, so that's 24 days, 23 days we're down to now. Uh, GU, cool, cool. Ding that over and over and over again. Uh, tungsten surplus four. Um, wow, we went from tungsten surplus one to four that rapidly. It. Uh, let's see. Oh, they attacked me here. Oh, you silly people. You silly, silly people. Oh, you guys. Um, actually, real quick. Who? Well, too far. I mean, that's the closest guy, but that's too far away. Oh, well. It is what it is. Attach, attach you to a, a leader unit. I must have like picked up some uh, tungsten mines in Chinese territories and not really realized it. Uh, that's nice though. That means a little bit of increase in rares and a, a big increase in our heart attack. Zuen's another place they're attacking me here. Yeah, trying to relieve the pressure, trying to get to, trying to get out. Okay, we're about to win all this here. That's good. Let's move you to there. Actually, the ninth. Let's move you there.
28,000 troops. God. Nice. We will move. Uh, oh, no. We're going to stay there. I'll wait till my reinforcements come. 50,000 troops were here, but they're getting, they're getting pushed back to one of two areas. Um, yeah. It looks like over the course of this month, that that's what it's going to take to move to this river line and then kind of push down south to the Pearl River here. Try if I can push down south to the Pearl River and then grab these two provinces here. We can surround Deng Zhao. If I can uh, push here like this as well. And if we can push westward, get a, a line here. Kind of have this area. And then slowly constrict it, surround Guangzhou. We could do that over the winter. Okay. So if we can get to here for the winter, this, we're pushing up through the rest of the month in the winter, and we'll start going through uh, the Gungsi Click. Start making pushes to their three victory point locations. Have one thrust going uh, north northwest, and another one going north north. Well, just straight north, <laughs> north north north. Um, that way we'll go for those two victory point locations. Just try to try to take them or reach them at the very very least. That'll pull some forces out to our way as well. Yeah, I'm seeing some uh, westward movement here from forces. Yeah, so appear, it appears that they're doing the same thing there, too. Uh, they're coming down like so, so interesting. They are responding. Uh, the Chinese are responding how I would prefer to see them respond. Uh, Turkey wants to buy one of my interceptors. Okay. Netherlands, they would like fuel. They would like to buy some fuel. We're at 53,000, sure. We'll buy some. Uh, let's move. You there. Let's have you come down. To, um, to there. And then we have you come down to there. there. Kind of trying to spread my units out as best as possible here. Oh, we need to come down quite a bit. There we go. Lost Leen. Let's do that. Um, we're going to pull this one destroyer fleet back because we're at a point right now where they only have, the Chinese only have the one port, Guangzhou. That's all. So we can do convoy raiding. With the one sub, all you guys come back. Rebase. Uh, let's see. Have you guys come back as well? This will certainly help our fuel situation too. Uh, we will still continue to patrol with one. Uh, we'll bring you back too. Well, we'll leave you out there. Um. That coastal battleship is still there until we capture this. Yeah, I don't need to move them just yet. So yeah, all these guys are moving up here like so. a lot of garrison. I can't, I don't think I'll be able to... Well, I was about to say, I don't think I can cut them off, but you know what? Let's, let's see what that looks like. 
capital ship armament advance. That's a one and done as well. Good. All right, so 34, 35, so do we just do 36? Yes, I just did 36. We are now in 1937 territory. Stuff that we need, that's 1937 tech. And older, of course, if there's anything that's beyond that point. So far, we're looking pretty good. All, all my nation stuff is pretty much on par with where we're wanting to be. Uh, infantry as well is looking good. Artillery, yeah, armor. We want light armor design, so we get to improved armored car as well. Diesel engines we need to work on. Uh, yeah. Armor level two, good there. Anti tank, no, we don't need that. Special forces, airplanes. Yeah, let's get those. Yeah, this is probably where I'm going to be spending a lot of my, um, a lot of my leadership is in anything that's like this, this level tech that I need. Though air is doing all right too. Submarine. Oh goodness gracious, submarine sonar. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Um, Huff Duff. Definitely need that. Depth charges, need that. Small warship engine. Oh, we're gonna push these two up. They're gonna that huff duff will finish. Or no, the depth charge is gonna finish like yeah, tomorrow or next couple days. Sweet. Carrier. Anything that's 1939 or older in carrier that I need. Yeah, we're good there. Capital ships. Uh no, we're fine. Capital ship one, uh, ammunition types, good. I have to say uh, kudos again to the uh, the mod team. Uh, you guys have have uh, done a, a great job with the UI here, especially in the technology window. Uh, several of the windows have gotten UI workovers, but the best thing I like about this is the fact that like like here in the, the capital, the older versions of um, before version 12 of um, Black Ice. If you selected any tech here, this window would be up so high it would cover over these these techs on the on the very bottom. So the fact that they kind of shifted uh, what was here over to this place here is good because that means now I don't have to keep selecting something and then saying, you know, clicking the X here to to get rid of it so I can see this anywhere. I don't need to do that anymore. I, I can select a tech and I can still see all the techs that are available for for what uh, for that doctrine or whatever that I've selected. So very, very good work there, guys. Uh, infrastructure and transport, certainly. This is still getting, I'm getting used to because like I'm used to this whole entire thing being in the line of tech, but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine like this. 62 out of 50. Oh goodness! I have a feeling we're gonna we're gonna see some. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've got a whole bunch of 37 tech that I need to work on. Um, I'll definitely get the military police just because that garrison and fascist uh, militia organization increases there. Mountain unit training. We need that as well too. You know, if I don't have any mountaineers right now, I will. Partisan suppression. We need that as well. Air, I think we're doing good. Uh, ground attack organization. Okay, yeah, we'll have to do that. Fighter bomber to interceptor. Tons of naval here that we're going to go through and take. 73 out of 50 command. Oh, cool. So we've gotten all the 1937 tech, though I think I left a couple here in operations alone. So let's take these. Um, yeah, let's take these. I said, eh, 
uh, for right now, and I'll, I'll go ahead and start learning them. I think we can get the, a lot of that done. I've got a couple projects that are going to, like, four projects that are going away in the next couple days. All right. So our operations here are working very well. Let's have him support the attack. Let's get this taken care of ASAP. Cool. That's all I want to do is I want to cut off these garrison units and kill everybody that's here. That's five garrison units plus anti-air. When it lays out, oh, I should have waited to attack until I moved into that province because they may actually escape before I can move in there. How quickly? Five days. Um, well, better than that now, four days. I should move in a little bit quicker, even. Is this depth charge? Yeah, that, that I knew was going to get finished right away. Steel production, we can also kill that. So we're down to 75 projects. It's getting a little better. Um, let's go and cross the river like so. I will have all these guys support that attack. We'll have you guys attempt to move there. Let's see what we can get. Um, let's have my armored move there. There, 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 like so, and then into there, or yeah, just there for right now. Trying to get, trying to get this river line. If we can get this taken care of, too. Uh, nice, down to twenty-one. Can these guys support? They can. It's up to thirty. Okay. Oil refining, that's another one I can drop off. Down to 74 projects. Research, refining efficiency, I think it went up like 11% or something like that. Um, the next is 66. So actually, it's, I guess it's going up by 22%. Okay. Additional oil ref refining improvements is good. Good, that's in the yellow now. Oh, um, now let's leave you behind for now. Grab all you guys and drop you off. Uh, yeah, let's drop you off there. I don't see where those garrison guys went. There's no way that I killed them, though. I don't think there is, at least. So that's French territory here, um, which is odd, because I think it went to... It was French or something, and they went English or something like that? I don't I don't remember. When I, when I inadvertently chose uh, join the Axis powers, I saw that province kind of changed... Changed hands a couple times there. Coal processing. So we can drop that off as well. 22.5. So it went up about 7.5%. 7, 7 Hydrophone advance. I think we're... Uh, oh, no. We're only 36 tech with that. Okay. 
Oh, Huff Duff is what I'm thinking of. That we're okay. Battle of Liang. We won that. The United States is angry with our maneuverings in China. I feel that should be hitting soon. Uh, I believe that uh, the U.S. embargoes will start affecting me. No, Germany. Thank you. Single engine armament. That's a one and done. That's good. So we're up to 1937 tech. The next big jump at the at this next point, once we get uh, green again, would be um, 1939 tech, or uh, 19. I did 37. 1938 tech. But I think in that case, I'm going to have to take a closer look because we're probably at a point where the amount of research projects that I need is going to vastly outweigh, or I should say, the research projects that I want are going to vastly outweigh the amount of research projects that I truly need. Naval forces and the uh, naval air and uh, grand battle doctrines are needed. Air forces also, just because all this ties into what we're going to be doing in 1941-42 um, when we go to war with the Western Allies and America. Our naval forces will be the prime things getting engaged and that we'll need to make sure that they're top of the line. Okay, we're holding. Yeah, Now that we're at, our, at this line, we're just going to hold here uh, in the north. And we can see supplies have um, gotten very, very, very good at this point here. Um, let's bring you back to the mainland. Let's do the same with you here. We can bring you over here, though. Uh, yeah, bring you there. Close air support. Uh, we will. Do I have? Okay, so I do have air bases there. We'll bring it to this air base. Fighter bomber. That's the range 245. We'll go there. What's this base? So, naval base 3, level 3, and. Um, Level three infrastructure. This one is just a naval base level one, so not so great in regards to supply. I don't need to. I don't need supply coming here. Sonia is getting uh, plenty of supply at this point. Okay, let's go back to our air units here. Um, gracious so we can't even make it so this air base is kind of a a no no good thing here let's bring you up there get a little closer let's bring you back Let's bring you back as well, because it's to the point we're not really having to worry about um, any naval units flying around. Oh my goodness, yes, you need to come back too. We're actually, I'm just going to bring you back to there. I think I'll attach one of the hero units. We have a medium bomber, which I can set down here. Okay, naval taking care or uh, air taking care of, naval as well for that matter. Uh, coastal battleship there, coastal battleship there, destroyer sailing around. Subs still have a couple of subs in the area. All right. Let me move 
move the 14th over here. I think I have, yeah, this guy will come down to there. I'll have him come up here like so. Can I start kicking off some attacks? Yeah, some, some attacks. We'll attack here like that. Drop the fifth off, attack there. Drop the 21st off. Um, no, we'll stay there. Uh, yeah, we'll go there. There. I think I'll be bringing some units when they're from here. Yeah, I'll bring some units and start pushing up to surround Nanning, which is the Gungsi Click. Um, well, it's one of their main victory point locations. That's their capital there, uh, Gulin. Okay, we're all set up here, moving appropriately. Okay, oh, good, good. Going to the green there. That's good to see. This should be wrapping up very, very soon. Okay, we won there, Pube. So, ugh. Zing Fan Wanian. Okay. Julie. Xinjiang. Cow. And Laling. Uh, we got to throw an armored unit out at you. Major victory. Nice. Not sure why that would be a major victory, unless maybe. Hey Yoon is the major victory because yeah, this is we lost thirteen hundred, they lost only twenty seven here. Hey Yoon, they lost far more, so I think that's the major victory. But anyway, a victory is a victory as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> as long as I'm winning, yay. Uh, let's have the thirty third chase you and have the thirty fourth come over like that. It is gonna be a tough go, but I think we can once we once we move here, we can certainly make some stuff happen. Take ownership of captured mines. We shall certainly do so. So we must. There must be like a whole bunch of mines sitting out there that I can take. Give me some strategic effects. Columbia wants energy. Sure. Columbia, that's good. Small warship engine. We get December first. I'll take another look at. Um, Europe and see what's going on over there. Small warship engine, which gives us the destroyer class. We'll wait till wait till uh, the next view of green that we see, because we could use an extra, another level of uh, destroyers. Um, this is not actually looking very good. Let's have the thirty-four sit here. Yeah, we are losing far more troops than, than we needed to. I'll let them attack me over the river and wear themselves out. Lost Puyang. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, what's this looking like over here? 
So they're tying me up here big time. Silliness, though, because, I mean, they're just basically killing themselves. They're not really doing any damage to me to speak of. Uh, I see is wasted in reinforcements. All right. We're down to just three days. So uh, December 2nd here, we should be seeing our IC go back to where it needs to be. Major victory, and that's for this here in Belhai, because they lost 8,000 troops. 20% of their army gone. I see efficiency is up to 5% now, so that's a huge swing around. Back there, come back around. <laughs> no, I don't want to join the Axis yet. Yet being the operative word. How much money are we making? 4196. So the United States wants me to throw almost all of it toward crude oil at this point. I say no. Yeah, I kind of think we're deep in the winter at this point. Just I'm not where I wanted to be in regards to uh, how my forces are shaping up here, but it's all right. It's all right. I was hoping to be able to get this river line by now and actually even further on south to like the Pearl River, but we'll get there. So souls can get more metal, energy, rare materials. Uh, we lost a 60% investment. Good. So, I mean, we're already sitting pretty here with, with all that. Let's, sure, go ahead. More energy, more metal, more rares. That's nice. Uh, we'll lose six points of the IC efficiency for six months there. That's why we jumped up. That's why we jumped up 6% like that. It's because of this autarky. Um, you know what, though? Let's say not this time. I think we're okay. Build one of each there. Throw them to the top. Uh, so all good there. What are we going down by 0 0.02? So 41 days, pretty much exactly. So um, mid-January, we'll be able to drop uh, five points off our consumer goods here, put it into building our light carrier group. Supplies, that kind of needs to drop down, I think. No, we'll keep it. Have you guys attack there? So good. We want it high dog. That's it. There. Okay, we'll have the thirty fourth attack as well. Okay. Um, so here, all right. Let's figure out what we're doing at this point. How much are we gonna be expanding? Purvey here. Let me drop this down to 15. There we go. 
Um, okay, so you're slowing me down there. That's fine. We can take the 4th and the 12th. Go straight up like so. Take the guard and the 109th. Go over that way. These that are really, really, yeah, they need a lot of loving. All my Marines is what I would have left, but we could do some... I can't use my Marines over this way. Let's go there and then up, like so. New designs. So this will be... This will be very helpful. Um, I don't, well, no hydrophone, we can leave that alone. Is there anything that's red here? Nope. On that note, is there anything I'm researching that is like tech-wise not what I should be going for? Doesn't appear to be so. These are, yeah, getting uh, very, very soon here. Actually, 1940, that's when I switch over to... Um, the light aircraft, I believe. So I can start getting some of that stuff. But I mean, we're doing fine with the capital ship where we're at here. Yeah, these are all getting really, really good. I think I'll go at least at least one more round with him. Or was I going to go with? Oka Takazumi, because of the research efficiency, gets stuff done quicker. I would lose, that'd be, two, that'd be two projects at least that I'd be losing because of his leadership modifier. Or I could go with him, get about five more projects uh, under research. Granted, the research efficiency get, uh, 5% would, would hurt a little bit. Things take a little bit longer to research. But I could probably, yeah, go with him one more time. 1940, go with the light aircraft, practical decay for a couple rounds until I can see, you know, where, how that shakes out. Then go back to aircraft carrier, practical decay, I think. I think. Uh, no, I don't think there's any new laws. No. Uh, 1941, again, we have to wait another year plus a month before we can go that route. I would love to get to propaganda pre press for the additional 1.5% uh, uh, IC efficiency, but won't let me. And yeah, we're still, because we need to change uh, to, to, to the totalitarian system, which we can't We would need a change in ruling party before we could get to there. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay, I have planes down here. Let's start doing some attacking. Yeah, like so. Do that for a month. We got some planes here. Fighter bombers. Okay, that's all the planes there that I've got. Uh, we have close air support here. Oops, too far. Oh, 215, goodness gracious. So, yeah, we're only attacking along this line here. Okay. That's it. Do I have any other any other air units available? Got some bombings, got some air combat. Cool. I'm really
really hoping that my, at least down here in the south, those air units are helping. And it looks like it is. 30, jumped up from the red to 34. I think it was like 22, something like that. So, yeah, I'm thinking we are. Actually, we even, we won. Or no. So this is for Battle of Wrong, which is this. That's what the 34 is doing. Okay, we won here. Okay, um, these are in the hills, so let's leave you and you behind and just march in like so. And then like that, we can have you guys attack there like so, have them support the attack. Also have them support the attack. Get some more moves here, so... Up to 99. Yeah, we should be winning that pretty soon. This should be getting wrapped up. I mean, that's 35. They are all super exhausted with their organization. This might be a bit tough. And that should be wrapping up. Yeah, that might take a little while, actually. Automotive factories, more radar stations. I I must have radar stations all over the place. That's like the fifth or sixth time I've seen that result for me. Yep, as I figured that was good, that was going to go well. And this as well, we, we lost a lot comparatively. 9% um, of our forces involved were killed or were casualties. Um, but yeah, we won there. Good. Let's have you guys go there with these two. Let's have you support that attack. Kind of expand out a little bit of a cordon here and just kind of make sure that we've got enough breathing room. Excellent, we won there. Uh, what are we building? Oh, destroyers, that's right. These are strictly gonna, I mean, they are going to be uh, replacements but I'll just throw them in here to the uh, the main battle fleet. We'll address how that battle fleet's going to look down the road. Battle of Hang, cool. Yeah, you can see a lot of movement around here where they're they're trying to set up a line. 82, yeah, I don't think that's going to go well for you still. They're trying to move around here to try to set up a line and, and contain my troops. Not going to be terribly easy, I feel. Um, let's cross the river there like so. I wish I had more troops to be able to send down to this location here because there's like, ah, there's so much I want to be able to do. I have 23, 24 units here, and that's about what I wanted in this area, 20 to 22, but still. Uh, we won there, excellent. If the uh, this one unit over here, the 24th, actually turned out to be a full-on unit like it's supposed to be, then I could have used that as well. But it is what it is. All right, let's keep going in regards to supply. We're actually running. Looks like we're going to run out of uh, room here. Probably have to redeploy there so we can try to get supply. But yeah, just make sure supplies kept up all along the south southern point here. The Battle of Wrong. No, I am right. You are wrong. <laughs> Alrighty, I think we're at a pretty good stopping point here. Uh, let me go ahead and save the game. Not 
not where I wanted to be. I wanted to be even further west at this point here. But for winter time, I think we're at a good point. We can make some slow moves westward still. Just push, gently push here and there. That they're in Yon. Oh, the 18th needs to move up too. Um, slowly push up along the Pearl River, surround Guangzhou. Leave that cut off. And um, if we can push slowly from here eastward, link up. You know, have a linking up party. Use the Pearl River as as our uh, line um, enemy across is to north of us, and, and we've got everything south. That would be great. But for winter, next episode, yeah, we'll just slowly consolidate what we've got here. Keep pushing westward, northward here, surround Guangzhou, and uh, maybe try to take this Nanning. I should be able to. Up here, I don't think there's going to be much movement unless they start stripping, China starts stripping from this line here and send their troops elsewhere. I don't foresee much movement all along there, and that's fine. If I'm just going to be pushing westward and then trying to take uh, Gunsy Click and Yunnan out, that will, that will impact what China is doing here in the middle. The good news is China's down to just one port. I only have um, one sub and one destroyer fleet in the area. That's all I need at this point, plus the two coastal battleships. Uh, oh, yeah, we can actually, we can move. Actually, I don't need, I don't need them. At, um, this is the only one that I need here. So I'm going to bring him back here at this point. Rebase. Let's let time advance a little bit. There we go. Now we'll save it. He's done. We can put him into the uh, queue to start um, converting over the uh, coastal battleships to light carriers. That's my my plan there with uh, both those coastal battleship groups. But yeah, we only have this one province we got to worry about. And I have sufficient... Actually, I have two. I have the coastal sub, the regular sub, and destroyer, plus the coastal battleship here. I got plenty of naval assets to take care of whatever the Chinese have remaining. So that's there. Let's take a look at Europe. No real changes. I'm not really expecting any. Though it does look like, yes, the um, Winter War happened. Because it looks like... Um, Finland pushed in that way. And Russia is making moves, I guess, to move northward. <laughs> nothing else happening elsewhere. No big changes. Nothing changed there. Uh, looks like looks like yet another allied landing here. Oh, wait. What the heck has happened here? So, interesting. So I wonder, this is uh, Vichy France. No, they're not at war. Oh, let's take ownership of captured mines again, thank you. Yeah, save again one more time. Um, that's interesting here. So in the month time that I uh, was, <laughs> had my focus away, um, Italy took care of what was here that Britain had, took care of their, their beachhead, but Britain landed yet again here, and they're they're trying. I'll, I'll give them kudos to that. But something has happened to... Um, <coughs> excuse me. I think this was called Transjordan back in World War II. Um, this was a British protectorate. Um... Something has happened where Germany has control of all this here, including the other side of the, the canal. So that is highly interesting. Uh, yeah. Uh, so Italy is not doing quite so well now down south here, which honestly I would expect at this point to be truthful. Um, yeah, Britain's 
I'm really doing a number here in the southern area. Not sure how that's going to affect them going further, but at least at least doing all right there otherwise. Huh. Interesting. There aren't any Axis countries around here. Vichy is not part of the Axis powers at this point. So I wonder how that came to be. No changes anywhere else around there. Let me, uh, let's take a quick look here. No changes in the Axis, common turn, allied powers, no new declarations of war or anything like that. Huh. Very interesting, very cool. Um, so yeah, a lot of change, a lot of different stuff happening. We'll, we'll be interested to see kind of what's, what's happening. Oh yeah, I want to check to see if Russia was, yeah, they're at war with Finland. That's what I thought. The winter war has indeed happened. And I think in a matter of months, I think it's March, then, uh, Germany gets the AI, Germany gets the, uh, the free naval invasions all around southern Norway, and they'll also kick off the attack on uh, on Denmark. Interesting, interesting things to be seen then. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, peace. Feel free to comment down below any anything that you feel I'm doing wrong. Let me know any questions you might have. Be happy to answer. But I hope you guys have a great day. Take care.